To 11 year old Matthew Fortberry was laid to rest today, two weeks after he was shot to death by a 17 year old accused of holding him and four of his relatives hostage in a car. Katie Easter was there and spoke to some of the people who loved Matthew the most, and she's joining us from the newsroom with their message. On what is the saddest day for any parent, Matthew Fortenberry's dad tells me he can forgive, but he won't forget. Now he's asking everyone to end the violence. One by one, 11 year old Matthew Fortenberry's family, friends, and teammates came to say their final goodbyes at his funeral on Friday. His basketball coach telling stories of how great of a player he was. But as soon as he got a chance to get on that court, he showed how he could be a good teammate. And he led by example with that. Matthew was shot and killed on March 16th, allegedly by 17 year old Kelton Malloyd. Police say Malloyd held Matthew and four of his relatives hostage at gunpoint while he was on the phone with someone telling them to come to the area. Matthew's dad, Michael, spoke after his son's funeral. I know I'm remembering every day. It's just tough. It's a tough pill to swallow. Michael Fortenberry says his son had a strong personality that is already missed at their home. You just get on the whole house nerves, and that's just the presence is empty now. You know, um, and I got to work with my other kids to, to fill that back in. It's going to be tough, but I'm, I'm, I'm up for the task. Fortenberry says he can forgive Malloyd, but he won't forget. He says he is now working with city leaders to stop the violence. Think twice about it, you know. Um, you got a, a beautiful life ahead of you. Just think twice about making an important decision on your life. Put the guns down, stop the violence. Malloyd will be back in court on April 17th. We're expecting to learn more then about what happened the night of the shooting. Here in the newsroom, Katie Easter, WBRZ News 2.